إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن سيدنا ونبينا محمدا عبد الله ورسوله Brothers and sisters in Islam Welcome to the story of Hajj ولقد آتينا إبراهيم رشده من قبل وكنا به عالمين Indeed we have bestowed Abu Ibrahim عليه السلام the wisdom and the understanding that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the deity to be worshipped and obeyed. Ibrahim alayhi salam, brothers and sisters in Islam, was born in a country that is, we know, Iraq, in a place called Ur, or Babylon. He was brought up in an environment where people worship idols made out of wood, rocks, people worshipping stars, planets, sun, moon, people actually worshipping other people, rulers and kings. Now, everyone is corrupt around him. Now Ibrahim alayhi salam was given the knowledge, was given the understanding. Now, Ibrahim alayhi salam turns immediately to the most beloved person to him, his father, to the person who cares most for him, to share with him, the message that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blessed him with. But Ibrahim alayhi salam was rejected by his father. In spite of delivering the message to him in the kind manner possible, Ibrahim alayhi salam, brothers and sisters in Islam, talked to his father in a sweet way. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala documented his conversation with his father, in Surah Maryam, وَذْكُرْ فِي الْكِتَابِ إِبْرَاهِيمِ إِنَّهُ كَانَ صُدِّيقَ النَّبِيَّةِ And mention the book, in the book Ibrahim alayhi salam, he was truthful, he was a prophet. إِذْ قَالَ لِأَبِيهِ يَا أَبَتِي My father, look how is he calling him. He's teaching you and me, brothers and sisters in Islam, how to call your mother and father and those who are elders to you to the right way, to the right path. We mess up sometimes. Once we want to call our own family to some truth that we were educated about, our Ibrahim alayhi salam, our uswa, our example is Ibrahim alayhi salam, right here. He's calling his father in a very kind way, Ya Abati, Ya Abati, my father. And he started listing for him some of the criterias that showed his father the fact that whatever he was doing is wrong. And the real Ilah, the real God, to be worshipped is not in a form of a rock or idol, is not in a form of a wood, is not in the stars, is not in the planets. Brothers and sisters in Islam, the reaction of his father was so overwhelming to Ibrahim alayhi salam. Saddened him, made him sad. He actually threatened Ibrahim alayhi salam. لَإِن لَمْ تَنْتَهِ قَالَ أَرَاغِبٌ أَنْتَ عَنْ آلِهَةِ يَا إِبْرَاهِيمِ Are you rejecting my gods, O Ibrahim? لَإِن لَمْ تَنْتَهِ لَأَرْجُمَنَّكَ وَهْجُرْنِي مَلِيَّةِ if you do not stop, I will, stone you. I will stone you. Otherwise, leave me and go. Look at the reaction of a son who given a sincere advice to his father. قَالَ سَلَامٌ عَلَيْكَ 
peace be upon you. سأستغفر لك ربي. I will ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive you. إنه كان بحثية. There are some of the books who deny the fact that the name of the father of Ibrahim alayhi salam is Azar. Even so, a clear text in the Quran, Surah Al-An'am, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَإِذْ قَالَ إِبْرَاهِيمُ لِأَبِيهِ آزَر And remember when Ibrahim alayhi salam said to his father, Azar. There is a very interesting conversation that will take place between Ibrahim alayhi salam and his father in the day of resurrection and the hadith fi sahih al-Bukhari hadith Abi Huraira radhi Allahu an the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam said yalqa Ibrahim abahu azara yawm al-qiyamah Ibrahim alayhi salam will meet his father azar in the day of resurrection and on the face of azar will be darkness and his face will be dusted. And then he will ask Ibrahim to intercede for him in order to go to Jannah. In a wording with Al-Hakim, Hadith Abi Sa'id Al-Khudri radiallahu an, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told the companions in the day of resurrection, there will be a man who will take his father before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in order to intercede for him. Ya Rabb, have my father go to Jannah. And Allah will say, Inna Allah harramahuma ala al-kaf, inni harramtu al-jannah ala al-kafirin. I have made Jannah haram. It is unlawful for the disbelievers to be permitted to Jannah. Azar, brothers and sisters in Islam, obeyed his son in the day of resurrection. Ibrahim alayhi salam will remind him with this world. Haven't I told you my father to obey me? His father will say, today I will obey you. Then, he will take his father before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then Ibrahim alayhi salam, the friend of Allah, will talk to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ya Rabb, my Lord, أَلَمْ تَعِدْنِي أَلَّا تُخْزِنِي يَوْمَ يُبْعَثُونَ haven't you promised me that you will not disgrace me on the day when they will be resurrected? And what other disgrace could be then having my father being in the hellfire? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will turn, transform his father into a bloody hyena. And then he will be taken with his feet and thrown in the hellfire. Here is, brothers and sisters in Islam, a fitna for Ibrahim alayhi salam, that his own father did not hear him. He was rejected and threatened by his own father. But yet, he did not compromise with his father. The truth, he still stood Firm on Tawheed. I say this to a lot of my brothers and sisters in Islam now who seek to compromise once they feel the pressure coming to them from their fathers because of the truth that they learned. But saying this must go hand in hand with the manner with which Ibrahim alayhi salam handled his father. He was so kind to him, so sweet to him. He kept telling him, Ya Abati, my father, Ya Abati, I fear that you will become a friend to shaitan, and shaitan is an enemy to Allah. My father, I fear that Allah will punish you, the most merciful will punish you. Inni akhafu ayyamassaka adabun min ar-Rahman. So sweet. So sweet in bringing the message to his father. Yet, his father rejected him, threatened him. But yet, Ibrahim alayhi salam kept firm on his principles. He stood firm. And 
he decided to split from his father for the truth, but he left him peacefully. A lesson that we learn. Brothers and sisters in Islam, that was the first trial in the life of Ibrahim alayhi salam. In his way, remember, chain of trials. At the end, he was then granted the imamship for all of mankind. He was granted the honor. ذَلِكَ فَضْلُ اللَّهِ يُؤْتِيهِ مَنْ يَشَاءُ Of raising the foundation of the Kaaba with his offspring, Ismail alayhi salam. But before you are granted something, you must be tested by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Look, وَإِذْ ابْتَلَى إِبْرَاهِيمَ رَبُّهُ بِكَلِمَاتٍ فَأَتَمَّهُنْ And remember, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tested Ibrahim alayhi salam with certain commands, and Ibrahim alayhi salam fulfilled them, look at the result. قَالَ إِنِّي جَاعِلُكَ لِلنَّاسِ إِمَامًا I will make you an imam for mankind. Brothers and sisters in Islam, there is no prophet in the face of this earth that everyone seeks to attribute himself to, whether they are Jews, whether they are Christians, or whether they are Muslims. But the people who have the legitimate claim to Ibrahim alayhi salam, إِنَّ أَوْلَى النَّاسِ بِإِبْرَاهِيمَ لَلَّذِينَ اتَّبَعُوهُ وَهَذَا النَّبِيُّ وَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا Indeed, the people who have the legitimate claim to Ibrahim alayhi salam, those who followed him at the time, and this prophet, and those who believed in this prophet, this prophet is Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. But you know why, brothers and sisters in Islam, why the three Major religions in earth claim Ibrahim alayhi salam because Ibrahim alayhi salam made that beautiful dua. He said, وَجْعَلْ لِي لِسَانَ صِدِقٍ فِي الْآخِرِينَ Make those generations who come after me speak good about me. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala confirms to you and to me. مَا كَانَ إِبْرَاهِيمُ يَهُودِيًّا ولا نصرانية ولكن كان حنيفا مسلما وما كان من المشركين إبراهيم عليه السلام was not a Jew nor a Christian he was a Hanif someone who is different than the people at the time and he was a Muslim a monotheist and he was not one of those who worshipped idols even Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala questioned the claim of the people of the book the Jews and the Christians, when he asked them, Ya Ahlul al-Kitab, O people of the book, لِمَ تُحَاجُّونَ فِي إِبْرَاهِيمِ وَمَا أُنزِلَتِ التَّوْرَاتُ وَالْإِنْجِيلُ إِلَّا مِنْ بَعْدِهِ أَفَلَا تَعْقِلُونَ How come you are claiming Ibrahim alayhi salam when the Torah that was revealed with Musa alayhi salam, who was the offspring of Ibrahim, Al Injil, the Gospel was revealed with Isa alayhi salam, he was the offspring of Ibrahim, the Torah and the Gospel were revealed years after Ibrahim. How can you claim that he was a Jew or a Christian? Ibrahim was a monotheist, a Muslim. That is why, don't miss the next episode of the story of Hajj, where you will learn the next trial that Ibrahim alayhi salam faced with his people, and how he was thrown in the fire for la ilaha illallah till the next episode of the story of hajj assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh